Okay, hello everyone. Uh, good uh, afternoon. Uh, good evening. Good morning, wherever you are. Um, so today I wanted to come on for my daily channeling challenge. And uh, I wanted to talk about losing idols. Uh, so um, in my life, <laughs> um, I have lost many idols. Uh, the first one, of course, was, uh, well, of course, for me at least, of course, uh, was um, I, um, as, a, as a writer of music, as a composer, I had a, um, a teacher that I admired, and uh, he was amazing. I mean, a, a, an amazing uh, composer. And he could just do anything. It was just so beautiful. And uh, I just, he was my idol. I just would do what, where I would follow him, do what he did. Um, but then all of a sudden, one day, he just quit writing altogether. It just stopped. And uh, for me, for someone like me who I wasn't following the, what is it, the well-beaten path. I was following just my own path. And so this was, he was kind of like a lighthouse for me. And then the light went out and I was lost at sea for a while and uh, this also happened just recently with a lot of stuff that's kind of coming out or not coming out depending on how you look at it uh, with uh, a another musician that I, I really idolized since I was a kid and I think I've talked about this in previous videos but um, I you know I idolized him he was his music was kind of like the soundtrack to my life and then to find out that he might be playing on the other side or <laughs> was is um, a bit shocking. And so, but this whole concept of having an idol. Um, so we look for idols like outside of ourselves. We look for other people to, to be our lighthouse, um, not realizing that the light is in here. That's where it comes from. We are the light. And so that these idols, in a sense, they're, it, it, well, they are illusions. <laughs> so we're always looking outside of ourselves. And, you know, for example, in relationships, like if I if I have a relationship with this person or if I get married with this person, then everything's going to change. Or if I get this job, I, in a sense, they're all idols because we're putting our hope into, some, into the illusion. We're putting our hope into the illusion and not in here where we are. We're one with God. We are God. Why do we have to look outside of ourselves? There's a quote. Um, hold on. I think I wrote it down over here. Uh, that is, those who seek the light are merely covering their eyes. Yeah, so exactly. We're, we are here. We are there. You know, we don't need anything. We don't need to go anywhere. We don't need any idols. We are. Yeah. So anyway, I wanted to talk about losing idols um, because we don't need them. <laughs> There's no necess They're not necessary. Uh, maybe they are necessary, though, for the path for that, we're, that we're going on, we, you know, up to a certain point. And we need them to realize that we don't need them, I guess. That is the lesson that they give. So um, another thing too with this, um, uh, yeah, A Course in Miracles, A Course in Miracles. This is A Course in Miracles teaching. And um, so these idols, we don't need them. Uh, but a lot of, we don't really know what anything is for. So we cannot judge these idols. You know, so they they are actually learning tools for us. It's just about our perspective. Do we have Christ consciousness? Are we able to see things through Christ's eyes? And by Christ's eyes, we're not talking about the Catholic or the Lutheran Christ. We're talking about the concept of Christ consciousness, Buddha consciousness, that we're all one. This is not related to a church or anything like that or a denomination this is this is the concept that the, we are all one you can replace the word christ with buddha with whatever concept you want to replace it with god mind uh, it doesn't matter they're just words and you know the words don't mean anything but the idea behind this word is the the idea of oneness is very important all right well so okay that's my message and let's see if uh, the guides have any anything to add Greetings, it is us, the Hathors. Recently, our channel is thinking about calling us the Helpers because he thinks it might be easier on people. Uh, people hearing this being channeling uh, some alien race, uh, he thinks that it might be too much for people to handle. And so if he just calls us the Helpers, it might be easier to swallow for everyone. Uh, we, of course, have told him that he can call us whatever he wants. Uh, we don't see it that way. We understand that the level, the level of 
that you have come on your planet is is much higher than before and this this sort of idea is not something shocking for all of you you are you are ready to hear these messages and you understand that we are all one now what your channel was talking about losing idols this is yes a very very important lesson on your planet uh, this is why a lot of you come here. These idols are, are very, very g wonderful learning apparatus for you. They give you the ability to see how you really think inside. They project uh, your darkness outside, you might say. And they are, they are projecting the darkness sometimes. And that is, that is okay, because you are living on a... Uh, third dimensional planet where there is there is the dark and there is the light and where you're going is more of a unity consciousness where you realize that they're both there and they're both okay and just accept them both and then you can go beyond but what you first have to understand that they're both there and in order to understand that they're both there you need learning tools so a lot of you come to this Course in Miracles later in life, and this there is a reason for that, because you need to have had your idols. You need to, to follow them, to see where they lead you, to follow them down those dark, we might say, rabbit holes, and find that there's nothing there, to find that they turn to dust, to find that you are alone again, no matter how much you search, no matter how many times you go down these holes, no matter how many idols you you search for no matter how hard you try to get that idol and once you do you realize that you're alone again that there was nothing there that it disappears that it's an illusion and this is uh this is a learning experience for all of you and then you after a certain amount of time will realize that they're just illusions and that you have to look inside and that's what's happening on your planet anyway. That's what you all are going through. But right now, things are being sped up so that more of you can wake up into this this idea. And for some of you who are recently uh, awoken, we might say this word has been, uh, the meaning has been changed. Uh, you see how uh, illusions, uh, you see how these words can change, their meanings can change so quickly. The word to be awoke or to be woken has turned into some other meaning. Uh, for this for this channeling, we would just say to, to be awake, but we do not mean it in the political sense. We mean it to be aware that you are one with God. That is what we mean. And this is what's happening on your planet, yes. And a lot of you who have just recently awoken are finding it quite difficult. Um, it's, it's a rocky road. Now, for those of you who have been awake for a while, you, you have gone through this rocky, difficult part, and you have had a lot of time to, to deal with it. It's been spread out over a longer period of time. But for those of you who are recently awoken, it is, it is quite a shock to the system. And to you, we say, we give you peace, and we give you understanding, and we tell you that you can call on us whenever you want, whether you call us the helpers or the Hathors or your guides or God or Jesus or whatever you'd like to call. We are here, we are around, we are here to help you. Okay, so that's uh, the message for today. Um, ciao.